Brooklyn Independent Television. April is National Jazz Appreciation Month, and we are shining the spotlight on a music training institute for promising young Brooklyn musicians, named after one of Brooklyn's own, the late great jazz violinist Noel Pointer, who was born in Bedford-Stuyvesant. On any given Saturday in bed Restoration Plaza Complex, this is what you'll see and hear. And Tanita Pointer is never far behind her students, all practicing how to play everything from Vivaldi to Beethoven. This is the Noel Pointer Foundation, and we're a string program, and we have classes that meet every Saturday, violin, guitar, private piano, cello, viola, and it's just the energy, the kids, the parents who come in, it's like, we're a family. We have been doing this since 1998. We've been at Restoration since 2007. And when we came here, we were pretty homeless at the time. But um, one of our funders said, you know, you need to contact them and see about bringing your program into the space there. And I said, fine. And then we started our programs here in 2007, and we have grown to capacity. We have 108 kids in our Saturday program, and they take all the different instruments. Some of our students are taking violin and guitar. Some are doing piano and violin. And some are just doing double bass and, uh, and viola and cello and, and just violin. But it's the energy, the love, and the passion that these kids have for these instruments. And as you can tell, they're playing all the time. It's just, it's nonstop energy, and I love it. I love it. It's the love of music and the devotion to her late husband, Noel Pointer, that has kept the organization going for the past 15 years. Well, I can see it. You know, I've been teaching not, not only in, in, in school here, but I've also I do outreach, meaning I go to public schools and create um, stream, stream programs in different high schools and middle schools. And believe it or not, when I go there the first year, the first year you, see, you, you it's like getting a rock, and then the second year you see shining. You see how you molding that person, and they start walking differently. They talk to you differently. Their whole demeanor is different, and it does make a difference. You know, little by, 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 by little, every day you see the difference what, that you're making on that child's life. Safety. I know my kids are going to be embraced and nurtured and watched when I drop them off. I don't have to worry. They're still getting the same teachings that I give them at home when they come here. And I was thankful that I had their grandmother to help me get them where they're at now so they can perform and show what they're worth because they're proud. phenomenal phenomenal women You're phenomenal. Proud. yes i am very proud but it's truly because of who he was as a man and as a musician his greatness lives on through our children and um, in the families that we serve. And I think that Noah would be very proud of what's happening right now. Community pride is what led Bridge Street Development Corporation to name a new low-income housing apartment after Noel Pointer. We visited the new home of a lucky lottery winner who was happy to give us a peek. 
have to be important to know the shoulders that we stand on. In order for us to continue to build in this community, we have to know our history. And that's the one thing about Bedford-Stuyvesant. We love our history. We continue to um, connect with our history. And we should continue to always honor them and tri pay tribute to them. Uh -huh. Oh, my God! This is beautiful! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Brenda. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Wow. In your kitchen? I know. Oh, That's my favorite oh part. Oh my God, and I love your artwork. Thank you. It's Brenda, this so is wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Gosh, Brenda. Mm -hmm. But I was living in an apartment that I was basically working to pay my rent. Mm -hmm. You know, and thank God for Bridge Street Development. Thank God for Wavecrest. Thank God for affordable housing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, you could no. I would have probably been back in the shelter. Literally. Mm. You know, things were rough. And this came at a good time because I was going through so much. So this was like, I hit the lottery. Thank you. Yo, Thank welcome. You so much. For Brooklyn yeah. Review, I'm Fred Brown. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at breakartsmedia.org slash BIT.